Welcome to Bally High Pier, and let me tell you, the atmosphere here is fantastic. Not only is it a world famous DJ we have here in Pater tonight, but it's also an outdoor event. And I love these events because music just sounds so much better outdoor. And tonight, it's actually one of my DJ heroes. He's an interesting artist. He's made a lot of different style records. He's dominated for an American Music Award, a Grammy this year in the reggae section. He's Bob Sinclair. And before we go meet him, let's hear a little bit about his background. Radio in France, it was pirate radio. I had 16 years old, they were playing funk, disco, and hip hop came in France as well in the same time. So, first time I saw also a DJ, I wanted to do the same spin record in front of play, in people. It, it was just my hobby at the beginning. Just I say, okay, I wanted to play tennis, play football, I was not talented enough. I said, okay, music is going to be my thing because it, it touched me very deep. And uh, we're going to try something. I did a lot of uh, Student, student in a lot of school, so I said, okay, let's do it, let's try. And step by step, I wanted to play my music in front of people and then produce my own music. And I had uh, no example of a DJ who has been successful as an artist to create an artist image on, on his DJ, on his DJ statue. So I said, okay, let's go, we'll see. So step by step, I made my own records and. Uh, 15 years after, I'm here with you, and it became I became very successful because I did so many hits, uh, club hits first, and then Love Generation arrived, and then then since Love Generation, six or seven big big hits all around the world, and I create I think a nice image around my uh, my artist uh, my yeah my artist uh, side, you know, with beautiful pictures, beautiful uh, videos, always talking about kids, you know, what I mean, try to. Uh, Elevate my style, update my style with always a message involved just for house music. Be different. You have been in many genres. You, uh, I remember some of the early stuff was very funk alike, and then you've got more electro. Then you joined the mainstream a little bit five, six years ago. Can you try to describe your musical development through the years? All my music has been accident. You know, yeah, accident because I was uh, doing music in my kids' room. Uh, trying to uh, create and recycle sounds with some classics I then step by step my ears start to be like a musician um, I was better and better and I met singer I met musicians and so I starting to create songs and these songs starting to be played on the radio but I didn't change my style year by year you know it's always Ruby I wanted to be close to black music, so I've been in Jamaica, I've been in Africa, I've been in Brazil. So all this mix became Love Generation. I think I did everything to arrive there at this point. 
and then the mashup between reggae and, and, and acoustic music, dance music became big because it was it was um, it was true for me, you know, it was something really really uh, personal and also um, innovating. So something new on the on the market because every, every, everybody's doing electro. I'm not doing really electro. You know, I'm doing acoustic music for dance music for the crowd. There's been a few DJs like you have hit, have hit the last 10-15 years in the main club scene. What what do you think has changed in, in the club scene since we not see bands anymore, but more and more we see DJs succeeding? Yeah, in uh, the 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 club scene is bigger and bigger because we elevate the image of, of a DJ. DJ is not anymore just a, a guy who playing record for people. He's a superstar because because he became an icon. Um, there is an edification. The young generation wants to be a DJ now. You know, DJ become there is the football, there is sport, there is many things. But DJ became the highest uh, point you can reach in the night business. Uh, we became artists, and now the young generation want to look like him. So we became branding, and the clubs promote their image with the DJ image. So that's why it became bigger, bigger and bigger, and we try to play all around the world. And also because I told you the I stopped, you know, but the DJ now knows how to work their image with videos and pictures. The club scene has changed a lot. You play all around the world. How have you experienced the last five years in the club scene? How have you how have you experienced the, the, the changes we've had? It's every year bigger and bigger. It doesn't really change because I always play my music. I always play uh, the music I love sincerely. So I want to play my music and the people who come to see me playing my music. So my DJ set is 60% of my own production. So it didn't change for me, but I see the the excitement of the people. Crowded, more and more crowded in the club. And I can play for 100,000 people now. Only me, on stage. So I just sometimes look at myself and say maybe maybe they're waiting something else than just a DJ when is the real band because coming? sometimes I want to say guys I'm not a musician I have my, my own studio I can make music the music you love because I do a, like a combination of sound in my studio and I can play anything alive so I want maybe sometimes to apologize because I can I don't know why they come so many just to see me playing my music but I'm very proud You played all around the world. Do you, do you see any difference in the Asian party people, in the American, the Europe party people? I mean, no, they are very exciting more in the Asia because it's really new. Because I don't think our music is playing a lot on the radio over here. Because they are really protectionist and they play Thai music or they play Chinese music a lot on the radio. Maybe pop or rock. So they are not really dance music at the moment. But dance music became pop music now. All the big artists want to be remixed by the best DJ. So I'm sure it's going to be very popular very soon. I can guarantee you Love Generation and the World Hold On have been fantastic hits in Pata and you can still not go out without hearing Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because it touched very deep the people. The emotion of the songs are really strong. The, the scene is developing all the time. How do you see the near future for, for the commercial dance scene? I'm not a prophet, man. Maybe you consider me as a prophet, I don't know. But but music-wise, where, where do you think we will go? Will it be more techno or, or, or go, we will go techno? I don't know, I don't know. I mean, the... Because the dance music became now very commercial, I think the gap between what you hear on the radio or what you play in the club is going to be bigger and bigger. Like like it was at the beginning of the 90s. So it, it's going to be harder and harder to make a hit who come from the DJs and explode on the radio. But I'm going to try to do my best to continue. And just your nearest future, the plans for you? What, what I have a, I mean, actually I'm very proud because this year has been very, very reggae. I did this best of totally rearrange uh, uh, with Sly and Robbie, who are two legendary producers, two reggae producers in Jamaica, and uh, we have been uh, I've been nominated for the Grammys in the section in the, in the in the reggae section, which is unbelievable for a DJ. So I'm really proud, and I'm producing a new album for next year, uh, totally dance with. Uh, I hope very strong track for you to dance all around the world. So we will be looking forward to that. In a few moments you are going on stage. Yeah. Can I can wait. It's unbelievable because the, 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 the location is out, outdoor and there is not a lot of more uh, outdoor uh, 
got no club now because you have a noise, a uh, lot of neighbor around. So it, I can wait. It's really hard outside, just arrived from Paris, minus uh, two Celsius at the moment, very cold. So I arrived, I'm really white. But if, you, uh, if we do an interview in 10 days, I will be dark and really uh, healthy. <laughs> but I can't wait to play there. What can we expect? Uh, what I have new tracks coming, new remixes, and uh, I don't know. I have to. Exp I don't know if they're going to be ready for my sound, but I'm very, a very shy, exciting. But I'm going to give my best always. Let's go party! Yeah, for sure. Inside you find a deeper 